Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you the new Gradient Legends feature for the native visuals in Power BI. Like many other features I discussed, this one has been requested from the community for quite a while. While there were ways to create Gradient Legends previously using photo editors or PowerPoint, it wasn't nearly as simple or as dynamic as the feature now included in this software. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI, and get started. So as you can see on the chart in front of me, we have this beautiful gradient legend up here in the upper left, where it actually includes both the gradient and then the min and the max values in there as well. With 18 representing the smallest over on the left, and then the 323, of course, representing the one over on the right. And these will change dynamically as the min and maxes, as the values change over time with slicer selections, if you're making any filter selections on the page or whenever the model gets refreshed as well. And the beautiful thing with this is that it's very easy to set up. So we're gonna click this chart here. We're gonna come over to the format painter. And then you can see that there's an option here to turn legend on and off. And the way to get this to show up is you come to data colors and you just make sure that you've applied some dynamic conditional formatting over here. If I clear this, the legend obviously goes away. So if I click the F of X icon, go ahead and set this min value to say this blue and the max value here to a nice pretty green, hit okay. There you go, the legend shows up. And as long as you have the legend toggled over here, that's all you need to do to get that gradient to automatically show up. It's baked right into the visuals here. And you have the same standard legend formats over here as far as where you want the position to be so you can move that around as necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that at the top left up here. There we go. And you can even give it a name if you want to have something next to it. I just call that legend to make it clear in there and standard things for font family and size too. But other than that, there's not much to do for setup. All you need to do is make sure that you've configured in data colors a nice gradient using the conditional formatting in here. And then the legend basically is just a toggle to turn on. Now it's also gonna be good to talk about which visuals this is supported for. So at the time of making this video, the Gradient Legend feature is enabled for bar, column, and scatter charts. And all of these visuals below here are one of those three primary chart types. And you might find Gradient Legends that come out for other visuals in the future, but for now, these are the visuals that will currently support it as part of the native visualizations in Power BI. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.